Hey folks, it's Mark at Titus. Um, just doing a little quick video here of something we just uh, got finished up. Um, thought this would be kind of interesting, so some folks have probably never seen something like this. Many probably have. But um, this is just some of the projects that we work on here at Titus. This is a, a block that a uh, designer and a builder sent to us to do work on the lifter bores. And what we're doing, as you can see, this is a, a dart, uh, one of their 351 blocks. As you can see, the lifter, uh, where the lifter goes into the block doesn't really look like a dart block. So this, what this block is, is a rubbed core. So what they did is they rubbed this in before they poured this block to make this rail solid so that this option could be done uh, to the block. If you look, you'll see that the lifter bores are not in line like a typical Windsor. So what our job was to do was to take out uh, standard keyway lifters, which this is a 937 keyway, and put in these bigger diameter bushings that are wheel guided. And as you can see, we've had to cut here on the block, so we had to do quite a, we had to keep sonic testing the block every, as we cut to keep making sure that we have enough wall thickness to be able to lay this lifter further away from its normal bank angle than what it was. And what a wheel guided lifter is, if you've never seen one, this is a standard 875 uh, BAM lifter that we use quite a few of. This has a, a 750 diameter wheel. Um, this is a, a bush set, but that doesn't really make a difference. But as you can see, this 875 lifter, pretty small for that hole. And as you can see, again, that's the wheel size. So the wheel stays inside of the body of the lifter. This is the lifter that's going in it. This is a 937 wheel guided lifter. And as you can see, the wheel is bigger than the diameter of the bore of the lifter. And that's why these uh, keyways are, are notched in the bushings so that what holds the wheel center and what holds this from turning sideways is actually the wheel, get my hands out of the way, is actually the wheel inside of that groove. Now there is a particular advantage, and we're not gonna go all through that right now, of using the largest diameter wheel possible. So just keep in mind, um, when you look at a flat tappet cam, and you look at uh, the, the lobe design of a flat tappet can, it looks more like an A. Whereas when you look at a typical roller design, they look more like an egg. Well, a flat tappet cam has a radius ground on the bottom of the lifter that's 15 inches in diameter. It's really not flat. But when you go down to such a small diameter wheel, like a, eight, a 750 wheel, the difference between that 15 inch diameter uh, radius and this 375 thousandths radius, you can imagine the, what the cam lobe looks like in order to get the same kind of valve action. You have one that has a much sharper style lobe. So this uh, it falls naturally closer to the 875, but there's a definite advantage to using the biggest wheel diameter possible in the, in the pressure angles, geometries, and things like that for using this lifter. So that's why um, the builder and the designer went through all the trouble to be able to do this. But uh, is a quite long process to do because it requires boring the whole block, which is a very uh, tedious process. You can't, because it's an interrupted cut, you can't really cut a lot. So there's many, many, many cuts. And the other thing about these bushings is uh, normally we would uh, install bushings and then put them in the hone and hone them to size. These bushings can't be honed to size because of the large gap. Uh, the hone stone will, will not fill that gap, so it won't bridge the gap. So it basically will go in and try to tear the lifter bore up and tear the hone up. So these bushings have to be installed, bored back to size, and then Jessel just recommends finishing them with a bottle brush to, to remove any kind of tool marks. So. Quite a tedious process, but just thought it was interesting that, uh, while we're finishing this up and before we clean it up and get it ready to get shipped back to its owner, 
uh, just thought it would be uh, interesting to show some of the oddball things that we actually do. Take care. Have a good day.